In this video, we're going to finish the worksheet for one step inequalities under the Infinite Algebra 1 tab in CUDA software free worksheets. I'll leave a link in the description below so you know how to access that. For number 13, we're going to start by dividing by 7. When we divide by 7, we'll get that 0 is greater than or equal to 1n, which is simply n. 0 is greater than or equal to n, so we're going to circle the 0, shaded in since n can be equal to 0, and we're going to shade everything to the left since 0 is the maximum value for n. Moving on to number 14, we have m divided by 5 is greater than or equal to negative 5. Multiply both sides by 5 over 1, which is the whole number 5, to get that m is greater than or equal to negative 25. m is greater than or equal to negative 25 is the solution to that inequality, and we're going to go ahead and graph that now. Circle and shade in the negative 25, since m is greater than or equal to negative 25, and since m is greater than or equal to negative 25, it's going to be everything to the right. Number 15, negative 13x is less than negative 156. Start off by dividing by a negative 13. And remember, since you're dividing by a negative, you're going to have to switch this inequality around. So go ahead and flip that to get x is greater than negative 156 divided by negative 13 is a positive 12. Circle the 12, but don't shade it in, and x is greater than that 12, so it's everything to the right. Number 16, we have 32 is greater than or equal to negative 16p. When you divide both sides by a negative 16, you're going to have to switch this inequality sign since you're dividing by a negative number. When we do that, we'll get that negative 2 is less than or equal to p. If you want to, you can rewrite this and say that p is greater than or equal to negative 2 if you prefer your variable on the left-hand side. Either is correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to circle and fill in that negative 2 and then shade in everything to the right since p is greater than or equal to negative 2. Number 17, we have negative 8 is greater than v minus 3. For this, we're simply going to add a positive 3 to both sides to get that negative 5 is greater than v. And again, if you'd like to rewrite that, you can simply say that v is less than negative 5. Just remember when you're rewriting to keep the inequality sign pointing or facing the correct way. Notice that the tip is pointed towards the v, or the one vertice is pointed towards the v, and the two points open up to the negative 5. So I've done the same over on the right-hand side. v is less than negative 5. Go ahead, circle negative 5, and then don't fill it in, but shade everything to the left, since v is less than negative 5. 18, we have 11 is less than or equal to 5 plus x. Subtract 5 from both sides to get that 6 is less than or equal to a positive x. Again, if you wanted to rewrite this, you could say that x is greater than or equal to a positive 6, but it is not necessary. Go ahead, locate the 6, circle, shade it in, and then shade everything to the right of that 6, since x is greater than or equal to 6. Number 19, we have 25 is greater than or equal to n plus 13. For this one, we're just going to subtract 13 from both sides. In doing so, 25 minus 13 leaves us with 12 is greater than or equal to n. 12 is greater than or equal to n, or you can say that n is less than or equal to 12. Either way is correct. So we're going to locate the 12, 
circle, shade it in, and 12 is the maximum that in can be, so we're going to shade in everything to the left. For number 20, we have negative 168 is greater than negative 12a. In this problem, we're dividing by a negative, more specifically a negative 12, so we know we're going to have to flip the inequality. Negative 168 divided by negative 12 is a positive 14. Switching the inequality, we're going to have 14 is less than a. You could also write this as a is greater than 14. Either is correct. Just remember to keep the sign oriented the correct way. So a is greater than 14. We're going to find that 14 and then shade in everything to the right. Leaving the 14 open. Number 21, negative 3 is less than or equal to x minus 4. Add 4 to both sides to get that a positive 1 is less than or equal to x. Or again, you can rewrite this as x is greater than or equal to positive 1. And when graphing this, we're going to circle the 1, shade it in, and then shade in everything to the right since x is greater than or equal to 1. 22, or divided by 3, is greater than 6. Multiply both sides by 3 over 1, which is the whole number 3. When doing so, we'll get r divided by 1, which is r, and that's going to be greater than 6 times 3, which is 18. When we're graphing this, we're going to circle the 18 and shade in everything to the right, leaving that 18 unfilled. Since r is not greater than or equal to 18, r is only greater than 18. 23, 12n is greater than or equal to 84. Do this by dividing by 12 to isolate that n. When we divide by 12, we get that n is greater than or equal to 7, since 7 times 12 equals that 84. When graphing, we're going to circle and fill in that 7 and then shade in everything to the right as well since n is greater than or equal to 7. And finally, the last problem, number 24. We have negative 22 is greater than negative 10 plus b. Go ahead and add a positive 10 to both sides so the 10s will cancel out to be 0, so you're left with b plus 0, which is b and negative 22 plus 10 is a negative 12. So our inequality is negative 12 is greater than b. So when we graph this, go ahead, circle that negative 12. Don't fill it in though, since b is not equal to that negative 12. But since negative 12 is the maximum number, we're going to shade in everything to the left, since negative 12 is greater than all of the b values. And that wraps it up for our one-step inequality worksheet. Go ahead and like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All subscriptions and likes are greatly appreciated.